Whether you're hosting your next event in your home, a venue, or even in the park, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to display your decor for your photo or table backdrop. The backdrop I'm gonna be making for today is for Gotcha Day, a dog adoption anniversary party. There are gonna be so many dogs, I might actually explode from all of the cuteness. I'll show you the easiest way to create a backdrop without breaking the bank, using PVC piping. The best part is, is it's portable and reusable for all of your future events. What we'll be making today, oh, just kidding, is a freestanding structure made out of PVC piping and couplers. This is going to create a backdrop for all of your party decor that goes with your party needs. Mine will be six feet by six feet, so we better start building. Since I already know I want my backdrop to be six feet by six feet, I've picked up these pre-cut two foot sections. Now PVC comes in all kinds of length, but you can have your home improvement store cut them down for you or use a PVC cutter. Let's build this backdrop. First, I'm gonna lay out all the pieces and then we'll put them all together. I like to start with the frame. So I start with the support beam, which will be in the middle of your structure. First, taking a piece of PVC pipe, you're going to connect it to a two-way coupler. Add another piece of PVC pipe, another two-way coupler, all the way to the first side, where you'll use a three-way coupler. Working our way up, you're gonna create side one. Connect with a coupler, and then end with an angled piece. You're gonna work your way over to the middle and continue just like you did on the support beam, all the way to the other angled coupler. Now we'll be working our way down to the side, connecting until you get all the way to the other three-way coupler. Now it's time for the legs. You're gonna add two more PVC piping for the legs, two more three-way couplers, PVC piping for the feet. Be careful as you lift the structure up off the floor. Be sure to check each joint to make sure that each one is nice and snug. And finish them up with a cap. Your frame is now complete. Now it's time for the fun to begin. There are so many possibilities on how to dress up your backdrop. Here are a few ideas to inspire your creativity for your next party. This first one is all about sports. So we have a megaphone, go team! Yeah. A literal foam finger, and a little banner. But the main piece about it is this foil fringe. And what's great about this is you can pick this up at any local party store. The best part is that they already put adhesive on it so you can put it right onto your PVC frame. When I design parties, I like to add a little bit of a surprise element, something that really makes your guests stop, tilt their head, but always with a smirk. You wanna leave them wanting more. That leads us into our photo backdrop. Don't be afraid to play with it. I've chosen some fabric that we're just gonna Velcro around our structure. We have some fun little signs and you can put whatever you want on these for things and then embellish with little party hats. Anything you want, just have fun with it. And the pinwheel takes us to Gotcha Day, which is where we're headed. And I love the idea of using paper. You can make it into any kind of shape you want. I love the 3D element and how we're going to layer it on the backdrop will really make the contents of the table pop. And what do dogs love more than a meatloaf cupcake? <laughs> Tennis balls. We're gonna use those as our actual decor and place them right into the center. <laughs> I'm very excited about this project. First, I'm gonna start with the big pinwheels. I'm gonna do this by tying them to the top piece of our frame. Just a simple knot will do. I'm gonna make sure that I vary in heights, going from higher, lower, medium, and everything in between. Once you step back and like where your big pinwheels are, go back in with your small ones and use a hot glue gun and just apply it directly to your PVC piping. This gives variety and dimension within your project. 
once you're all done and you like where everything is in place, go back and cut off your excess strings. I really like where this pinwheel backdrop is going for our gotcha day party, and I could stop here, but I'm gonna fill in a few more open spaces. There's gonna be a table right in front that will hide the bottom, and it's gonna be filled with human and canine treats. Just like how you've assembled this project, you're going to deassemble it for transportation. When you get it in the spot that you need, especially since we're going to a park, be aware of wind. If you're worried about the wind, I would advise you to add some sandbags or even some tenting stakes. You can see how I use all of these party decor ideas in my new show with Joshua John Russell, where we bring the party to the people. You'll see additional tips and exciting decor. And cake. What are you waiting for?